So let's see. We in this video we have to solve the more questions on the boards and chips. The some different kind of patterns we have to solve, which are based on the boards and chips. Now before solving all these things, uh, we know that the x is nothing but the speed of the boat in the still water, and the formula of the x is one upon two of s d plus s o. Means in order to calculate the speed of the boat in the still water, we use this formula one upon two of s d plus s o. And to calculate the y, means y is the speed of the water, velocity of the water, or rate of steam. Both these three terms are equal, and this y is equal to one upon two of s d minus s u. S d is the downstream speed, s u is the upstream speed. And how this formula we had derived? Uh, if you don't know, then you can watch my the first video on the Boston steams, Boston steams part one. You should watch, otherwise you will not get how this formula we have derived. Okay. Which is how to concentrate on the on these two things x and y because in the most of the uh, questions of the boats and streams we have to calculate the value of the boat of the speed of the boat in the still water means x and the velocity of the water means y. So these two formulas are very important. So now let's see the next question. Let's see the question. A person went 24 km upstream and returned back to the starting point in six hours. Total it took the six hours. Find the speed of boat in still water. Means x we have to calculate. If the speed of the water is three kilometer per hour, means y is given here as the three kilometer per hour. Now quickly I repeat what was given in the question. A person went twenty four kilometer upstream. Okay. How much distance? Twenty four kilometer. This total distance is the twenty four kilometer upstream. Means what? X minus y. Because upstream means what? We know that if the boat is going in this direction, then the Direction of the water flowing will be opposite to the in which the boat was going, so x minus y, 24 km upstream and return back to the starting point. Obviously, while returning back, while coming back, the speed will be the downstream. Downstream will be will be there x plus y. The distance will be the same, 24 again. And he observed that he requires the six completely six hours total six hours he needed in order to go the upstream. In order to go, in order to cover this that much of distance with the upstream speed, and to come back to the starting point with the downstream speed, total six hours he requires. Find the speed of the boat in still water means we have to find out the x, and we know the formula of the x as one upon two of s d plus s u. If the speed of the water is three km per hour, means y is given here, which is the three, sorry, which is given here as three km per hour, and x we know that, which we have to calculate the x. The formula of the x is one upon two of s d plus s u. Means what? We have to calculate the value of the s d and s u. Then we can calculate the value of the x. Now let's see. What I was given in the question is: first, he went the twenty-four kilometer with upstream speed and returned back to the starting point in the total six hours. Total hours taken by the man is the six hours. Okay. This is the time, and we know that the time is equal to distance upon speed. Because we know that distance is equal to speed into time. This is the basic formula of the speed, time, and distance. That's why the speed is equal to distance upon speed. So, distance upon speed is equal to time plus distance upon speed is equal to time. Because this is while going from this point to this point, and this is a distance upon speed while returning back. That's why I took the two terms here. So while going on with the speed of the upstream. The total distance is 24 km. That's why 24. Upon speed was the upstream speed, so x minus y plus y. Coming back, the uh, speed is not going to change. It will remain the constant 24. And the speed is again here is x plus y because it is downstream. Total time taken by the man is the total six hours. That's why x. That's why six. Now let's see. It is already given in the question. The value of the y is the three km per hour. That's why I can put the value of the y as a three here. So 24 upon x minus three plus 24 upon x plus three is equal to total six. So now let's see. Now let's see. X minus three, x plus three. We know that a minus b, a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. That's why it will become x square minus nine. And here 24 x plus 24 three is a 72 plus 24 x minus 72 is equal to total six. Now the plus seventy two minus seventy two gets cancelled here. Twenty four x plus twenty four x total forty eight x upon x square minus nine is equal to six. Again forty eight x into one forty eight x is equal to here six x square minus 
9 6 are 54 so 54 again I can divide all these terms by 6 so 6 1s are 6 that's why x square 6 9s are 54 and 6 8s are the 48 that's why x square minus 8x minus 9 so multiplication will be 9 and the subtraction should be 8 9 1s are 9 that's why I can write it as x minus 9 and x plus 1 so x is equal to 9 this is the correct answer because the x is equal to minus 1 the speed cannot be in the negative the speed cannot be negative that's why x is equal to 9 is the correct answer that's why the speed of the boat in the still water is 9 km per hour so now clearly repeat how i had to solve the question the question was a person went 24 km upstream 24 km upstream upstream means x minus y and return to the starting point while going it is upstream that's why obviously while coming back to the starting point it should be the downstream speed that's why x plus y and total needed uh, time needed by the for the person to complete whole journey is 6 hours so 6 hours it was given here so total time is given here and we know that the time is equal to distance upon speed that's why while going the time and while coming by the time distance upon speed time time plus time total time is 6 that's why I have taken here the t plus t is equal to total t 6 hours so total distance while co going 24 while coming also 24 upon speed while going upstream that's why x minus y while coming back to the starting point it would have it would must be the downstream that's why x plus y is equal to 6 so by and we know that the, the, the speed of the water is 3 km per hour that's why 24 upon x minus 3 plus 24 upon x plus 3 is equal to total 6 time taken by the man to complete the whole journey now simply the cross multiplication was here 24x plus 24 3 is 72 plus 24x minus 24 3 is 72 upon a plus b a minus b is nothing but a square minus b square that's why x square minus 3 3 is 9 is equal to 6 so 24x plus 24x 48x upon x square minus 9 is equal to 6 upon 1 so finally I got here the x is equal to 9 x is equal to minus 1 the speed cannot be cannot be negative cannot be negative that's why x is equal to 9 km per hour this is the right answer that's why the speed of the boat in the still water is 9 km per hour now let's see the next question the question is a person went 36 km upstream I returned back to the starting point in 6 hour 24 minute find the speed of boat in still water means x if the speed of the water is 3 km per hour means y is given here and we have to find out x now let's see which is how to put down on the paper what is given in the question a person went 36 km upstream total 36 km upstream means x minus y I return back to the starting point if while going the speed is upstream obviously while coming back the speed would must be the downstream speed and the distance is never going to change the distance will be never changed because it is going to remain constant here again 36 while coming back also return to the starting point in 6 hour 24 minute total time is given here 6 hour 24 minute means what in terms of over hour if I have to take then I must have to divide this term by 60 again so 6 plus 24 upon 60 6 plus 12 twos are 12 fives are 60 6 fives are 30 plus 2 32 upon 5 this is the total time required to complete the whole journey this is the total time and we know that the simple formula of the distance is equal to speed into time and time is equal to distance upon speed but but this is the total speed total sorry total time means while going on and while coming back total time means time plus time we have to take again here so time is distance upon speed plus distance upon speed while going on and while returning back total 32 upon 5 hours are needed by the person for the person to complete the whole journey now while initial while going the distance is 36 upon speed is the upstream which is x minus y plus while coming back the distance is not going to change 36 will remain constant here again the speed was but the speed is going to change because while going on the speed is upstream while coming back it should be downstream so x plus y is equal to 32 upon 5 also it was given in the question the speed of the water is 3 km per hour means y is given here y is equal to 3 km per hour so y here is equal to 3 km per hour now let's see we just have to solve this equation it is 36 upon x minus 3 because y is 3 plus 36 upon x plus 3 is equal to total 32 upon 5 
again we know that the x minus 3 x plus 3 a minus b a plus b a plus b a minus b is nothing but a square minus b square that's why here it will become x square minus 9 again 36 x plus 36 3 are 6 x uh, 6 3 are 18 3 3 are 9 plus 1 10 1 0 8 plus again 36 x minus 1 0 8 total is equal to 32 upon 5 so now let's see plus 108 minus 108 will get cancelled here 36 x plus 36 x total 72 x upon x square minus 9 is equal to 32 upon 5 now let's see here we just have to do the cross multiplication here so 72 x into 5 is equal to 32 of x square minus 9 we can divide this term by the weight also so 8 9s are 72 and here 8 4s are 32 so 9 5s are 45 is equal to here 4x square minus 9 4s are 36 that is 36 so again let's see it will become 4x square minus this plus 45x while coming here it will become the minus 45x minus 36 so I can write this as like the 4x square minus 48x plus 3x minus 36 the common factor I can take here is as 4 so x square minus 4 1 are 4 4 2 are 8 again from this term I can take the common factor as a 3 x minus 3 1 the 3 2 the so here I am sorry here yes here I can take the common factor as a 4 x that's why the remaining is x minus 12 and here again by taking the common factor as a 3 x minus 12 so x <coughs> minus 12 and the 4 x plus 3 which I got here so the right answer will be the x is equal to 12 km per hour so the speed of the boat in the steel water is 12 km per hour this is the answer so now let's see quickly I repeat what I did in the question the question was a person weighs 36 km upstream that's why 36 km upstream upstream means x minus 5 return back to the starting point while returning back 36 will remain constant and it will be a downstream while coming back that's why x plus y in 6 hour 24 minutes, the total time taken by the man to go and to come back is the 6 hour 24 minutes. So in terms of hours, if we have to calculate, we have to convert in, in terms of the hours, then this 24 would be converted into the hour. That's why I divided this term by 60. That's why 24 upon 60. So 6 plus 12 twos are 12 fives are 60. So again, 6 fives are 30 plus 2, 32 upon 5 total hour taken by the man to complete the whole journey. But this is the total time. So total time. So the time while going while the speed of the upstream to complete the 36 kilometers is nothing but 36 upon x minus y and distance upon speed distance is 36 and the speed is upstream x minus y plus again while coming back downstream speed is there x plus y that's why while coming back the distance is 36 and the speed is the x plus y which is downstream speed 32 upon 5 but in the cross multiplication here and we know that it was given in the question that the speed of the water is 3 km per hour that's why 36 upon x minus 3 plus 36 upon x plus 3 is equal to 32 upon 5 now 36 x plus 36 3 is 108 plus 36 x minus 108 upon a plus b a minus b we know that a square minus b square that's why x minus 3 x plus 3 is nothing, nothing but x square minus 9 is equal to 32 upon 5 by solving all these things I got here 36 x plus 36 x 72 x upon x square minus 9 is equal to 32 upon 5 so again by doing the cross multiplication here I got x is equal to 12 km per hour which we had to calculate here which was asked in the questions in order to calculate to calculate the speed of the boat in the steel water means x is 12 km per hour